Pierre will go where he's quiet for a poor. I'm the fastest man in the world, nobody can stop me. Speed is everything in speed skating. I'm here at <laughs> Speed is everything in speed skating. I'm here at the National Speed Skating Oval, also known as the Ice Ribbon, and we're going to find out why this ice is the fastest in the world. Miranda. Yeah, Johnny. Where are you going? Well, China's first Olympic speed skating champion Zhang Hong is here. I want her autograph. Can I come? Yeah, come up. Let's go. Miranda, where are you? Miranda! Miranda! Can you not hear me? No, I didn't! This place is massive! Yeah, but you can always call me! <laughs> but yes, this venue is very big. It covers an area of 12,000 square meters. It's about one and a half soccer field. So I just crossed the whole football field. Uh -huh. Where is John Hall? <laughs> I think that is her. Where's my hat? Here. Oh, yeah. This is oh, yeah. Hello. It's so fast. Yeah, yeah excellent. So fast. Because this eyes is so pretty good. See? So, the speed of the ice 可以讲出很多故事，因为它是第一届冬奥会在一九二四年就设有的项目，它也是北京二零二二年冬奥会一百零九枚金牌里面占了十四枚，也是项目最多的金牌数量最多的这样的一个项目。它也是世界上没有助力，什么叫没有助力？比如说滑雪没有坡度，自行车我没有轮轮子，但是它是没有助力比赛最快的项目没有之一，它可以最高时速达到每小时七十公里。那它也是冰上项目唯一一个跟时间竞争的项目，所以这个速度和快这两个词，对于速度滑冰来说，它诠释的非常完美。As the speed Skating venue in Beijing 2022, the Ice Ribbon has been trying to offer the biggest assistance for speed skaters by building the fastest ice on the plane. This is the world's first speed skating rink that fully applies the CO2 cooling technology. Chinese engineers have started to discuss and develop this system from 2017. The new system is able to keep temperature difference to 0.5 degrees Celsius or less over the ice surface, making the rink flatter, smoother, and easier to skate on. 作为一个运动员，一个速滑的选手，冰面是最重要的。所以今天我也感受到了，其实，当你站在冰面的时候，第一个直观的感受就是冰非常的滑，非常的亮，冰软硬度适中。然后也我也会感觉到这个气温也非常适合速度滑冰选手。那其实我们站到这个位置，我们也看到了，其实从观众的体验感、观赛感来看，也是非常非常漂亮的这样的一个场地。而且，我相信。从我的这个经验来看，它应该是世界上最完美的速度滑冰场地之一。I know the ice is made using a CO2 cooling system. How is that good for the environment? You know, actually, uh, for all the cooling system, they all use freon to cool down the temperature. But freon is a chemical compound that is harmful for the uh, ozone layer. So for the national speed skating oval, they are using a CO2 cooling system to replace Freon. But uh, you know, so normally such piece of uh, big ice, they need a lot of Freon to uh, produce and maintain. So they are using CO2 system to cool down the uh, uh, this piece of ice. Where is the cooling system? Well, actually it's just beneath the ice. You 
you want to see it? Let's go. When the CO2 liquid meets a certain amount of pressure, it will turn into CO2 gas. And at that time, it needs to absorb a large amount of heat and cooling everything down. So that is the concept of the CO2 cooling system. Sounds pretty simple to me. Sounds pretty good for the environment. Why doesn't everyone do it? Yeah, I think maybe the system is not easy to build. Well, you see, that's the ice making room. As you can see, the CO2 liquid is in these large containers, and it needs a lot of pressure to turn it into CO2 gas. And after it cooling down the ice, it will generate a lot of heat. You can see they have also built a heat reclaim system to support the hot water system and other heating services in the venue. Well, this may be the only CO2 cooling system in the world. Yeah, smart engineering with creativity. I can't believe you guys made it for the Olympics. Everything Beijing did is for the athletes around the world to have an unforgettable Olympic memory. <laughs> wow! <laughs> One more! <laughs> Good memory! <laughs> 二零一四年二月十三号，这一天我相信我永远都不会忘记这一天。这一天也是改变我一生的一天，那也是我第一次参加奥运会，所以我非常非常的幸运能在一千米上，然后为中国速度滑冰取得首金的这样一个成绩。那一刻我非常享受那一刻，因为整个一分十四秒零二的一千米，就好像我的身体、我的冰鞋和我的冰面融为一体。其实，在刚才我在驰骋在这个冰场上的时候，仍然会找到那种感觉，就感觉这个冰面这一刻，全世界都属于我。所以，我也希望说，在二零二二冬奥会上，有更多的运动员能在北京这块场地，能告诉全世界我是最棒的。In less than two months' time, the world's top speed skaters will gather here for Olympic honors. The ice ribbon venue will be full of stars. We are looking forward to the best ever results on the world's fastest ice.